All right, it seems like this time I actually have mic audio recording. So sorry about that last part and having to give you guys boring post commentary after. Um, I know that my post isn't necessarily the best. Um, then again, my regular commentary isn't very good usually either, but that's okay. Um, today I'm actually recording a bit earlier than normal, which is good because I get to record more than normal. It is only 11.30, and I usually don't even start recording until noon, 12.30, sometimes 1. So I'm actually able to record multiple parts, um, slash do what I did before, where I record a huge chunk and then split that into parts, which might actually end up being more worth it in the long run, but we'll see what ends up happening. So the first thing I am doing is um, actually adopting that child, because, um, like I said, I set it, I geared for that to happen, which is why I made this room here, which, let me do this. Even though there's nothing on the walls except for a clock, but it's just a little room with a bed and a bookcase and a mirror and a clock. And then there's a crib and a chair um, because I haven't decided if I wanted a child or a baby. So we'll see what's there. Um, normally I change the names and everything and like make it look like they use their genetics. But this time I think I purely want them to adopt and whatever we get, we get. So it's really just based on, um... oh, duh, that's not order. That'd be weird. Order a baby. Um, it's in household. There we go. So I'm actually going to see what options I have as far as who we can adopt. And from there, we'll just go with it. If anybody there looks cute, I'm going to go ahead and just adopt them and go for it. Then again, you can't really tell what a baby's going to look like. Um, but I guess it's also based on like name and things like that. I wish they told you gender up front, though. With babies, I mean, with children, you can tell more often. But with babies, I tend to forget what color is what gender. And then I think I remember... Yellow is females, I believe, because yellow has the, like, butterfly. And then green is males, which, good on them for not making it, um, you know, pink and blue. But I do kind of wish that they had, like, a listing with the name, at least, that was, like, for example, with me, James, male. Just, uh, just so that you could see, kind of, what you were getting. Also, I don't know why this is taking so long. I think it's doing the thing that dealt the same problem that Delia had had, and I've seen other people have where they get frozen instead of actually doing what they're supposed to do. This has been having happening lately, and I don't know why. Okay, let me just see. Do I have my testing sheets on? I can't even click on them. Yeah, I can't click on anything right now except for like the UI, and even then, that doesn't do anything. Okay, hang on. Let's see. So now I can click on Devante and do things, finally. So let's see if he's actually going to do the thing he was supposed to do. Because it looks like he's still frozen. Okay, so... Cancel this. Okay, there. Oh, I canceled it, of course. By the time it loads, it cancels. Alright, let's try again. I don't know why I did that. It, like, completely freaked out on me and froze him. There we go. So we have Tony, Alfredo, Damon. Oh, my God. I actually, the son in my legacy for Gen 4 on, on Trucy's side is Damon. And it's after Damon Gant from Ace Attorney, so I'm tempted to have Damon here, too, but I don't really know. We have Tony, Alfredo, Damon, Josue, Jaden, Tess, Casey, Katarina, and Dax. Hmm. Okay, Casey has that creepy face, so Casey's out. Um, because that's the weird thing that the glitch that the games had lately, where faces are randomized to look exactly like that, with the big eyes, the creepy lips, and like the pale, pale skin. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go... These three all look the same. These four all look the same, actually. Josue is the only one that looks different. Josu, Josue, the only problem I have with that is that's a name that's really, really hard to pronounce. Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Josu... And I mean, I could go with a baby, but I'd probably itch them up in the first day anyway. So... Hmm. I'm between Jaden and Dax. Huh, let's just eeny meeny this. Eeny meeny mo, cash the tiger by his so, if he hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny meeny mo. My mom says you pick the... I think I did that wrong. The very best one, and you are it. Okay. So we are adopting Jaden. Although I know that Inimini doesn't really do shit, because if you start with one, 
and that's the one that you end up landing on. But I didn't even really pay attention to who I started on, so it is kind of random in that regards. I just start moving. So he's going to get her. And we'll see. You can stay, Jaden. I believe this is a girl. Let's see. I mean, I'm assuming by the hair, but that doesn't usually mean anything. And I know that now that there is the gender update, which is amazing, you are no longer actually restricted to boy or girl. But I want to see, like, if, if, if they do anything, I'm just going to call them they for now. If they do anything that has a notification pop up, is it going to say he or she? That is what I want to check. So I'm going to have you do your homework. Actually, the other way I can check is seeing if this says son or daughter. Duh. I don't know why I'm, like, trying to get an interaction to go. Um, I can literally just check my uh, relationships. I'm totally lost. And see if this says son or daughter. Yeah, Alright. Yeah, I figured it's a girl. That's um, our daughter. But I'm going to stay completely open. If I end up feeling later on that, um, let's say that like she isn't comfortable, then I'm totally going to go ahead and just let her be what she wants to be. Because I would be that kind of parent in real life. So we'll see as this goes on. At least as much as this can before I go home. Well, to the dorms. If she does end up aging to a teenager. If I decide to leave her as a girl. Or if she would rather be a boy instead. I guess it also kind of just depends on like fashion choice. Like right now it looks like it's fairly masculine. But as a child you can't. Most children I've noticed tend to be fairly masculine. As a whole. Like you don't. I don't really see like little girls in dresses and pink. Well, pink, yes, but I don't always see, like, dresses and things like that. A girl, Even little girls tend to wear, like, pants and, and like, overalls and stuff, just because it's more comfortable when you're playing around. I wouldn't want to wear a dress and play, and play around in it, because that would be uncomfortable. Like, honestly, like, even as a girl, I probably would hate dresses. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and just do this. Harvest and dig for stuff. Why not? I tend to do that. And, I mean, it is a good sense of money. I would start another garden on this in this save but i really don't want to because i have oh wow because i have a garden in my legacy and it's actually getting really really annoying to maintain i'm so tempted to get rid of it i think i've already talked about that but i'm really tempted to just get rid of it all right cool so you can do that and then do you work today oh you are at work whoops okay you can do that when you get home okay you work in two hours so you are off tuesday so tuesday after school we can go do something because I kind of want to go visit some people, like some specific people that I um, actually have not visited. And I feel kind of bad for not visiting, even though I was talking so much about how I was going to see them constantly. So I'm actually going to go ahead and visit a couple people, two, a couple different households. I feel like I think Tuesday I'm going to visit one and Wednesday I'll visit the other. So we're going to head to our work now too, which leaves Jaden alone. I almost called her Trucy, and that's because that was the... Uh, legacy daughter so we're gonna go ahead and uh the one that actually ended up aging up to adult we're gonna let Jaden do her things she finished her homework which is great and i think as a whole here i'm gonna go ahead and look let her look at her um outfits so that i can see not only what her other outfits look like but also possibly change some minor things although i think her everyday is pretty much fine like I don't mind touching, or I don't mind leaving that as that is. So, let's see. So, her everyday is the overalls with the hat and the braids. I'm actually totally fine with that. The shoes are kind of weird, though, I'll admit. Because she's wearing the weird croc-looking shoes. So, I think I'll give her actual shoes, at least. You can have... Uh... There, so you can actually have, well, they were blue, so I'll give you blue. You can have shoes. And then, the formal's fine. Um, this athletic's kind of a mess, though. So let's go ahead and change this, just mostly colors. There you go. And then, yeah, your sleep's fine. Yeah, pretty much everything else is okay, although I'm also going to change this to the... 
Well, I'll keep the looser tank top, but let me go ahead and make it like a plain color. Like white. And then There we go. So just some minor changes. But that's why I wanted to just kind of check. So definitely after work these next couple days when we get our days off, like I said, we're definitely going to be visiting a couple of households, which will be good. Like I definitely can't wait to go see them. Um, but for now, we just kind of have to ride things out with Jaden and wait while Devonte and I are at work. Which is fine, because granted, Devonte will probably be home really soon anyway, because I leave for work and then he gets home from work. Yep, he's home. I'm pretty sure I already got that achievement multiple times in other saves, so it doesn't really matter. Let me see, who's even around? Is this a townie or is this one of mine? This is a random townie. This is one of mine. Psh. Really, really, really snooty. Anthony Diamond. Although he's also really nice. Like, we've I've brought him up in other parts. But it's just funny seeing him walk by. What is even with that face anyway? It's just like... Well, okay. Just... Sure. Okay. So let's get back to this. Also, he's going to harvest the things now, I'm pretty sure. And then he also probably should go to sleep. Just because his energy is kind of meh. So when he finishes that, I'll let him go to sleep. Let's see. Meanwhile, bladder is bad, but you can pee when you get home. And your needs are not bad because you're eating now. So that's good. And your homework's already done, which is good. Um... You have Rambunctious Scamp as your aspiration, which I didn't even realize. What is her trait anyway? Because I know I have custom traits, and so I know when it comes to things like this, custom traits might actually come up. She is a mixer, which means that she becomes energized after relationship boosts and social needs decay faster. Okay. Yeah, because I have a lot of CC traits I don't really mess with, if you haven't noticed in my cast. Um, and I don't think I even have any of them on me or Devante. But I played with them on a couple other sims. There's some traits that I actually definitely need to have that are CC. Okay, no, he doesn't. But I have, for example, uh, Vasan would have been er, would have had some CC traits because I believe he's like a social media addict and things like that and irresistible, which is a direct port from Sims Three. And some of them I have, like some of them I downloaded, but I know that I made irresistible, and I think I made a couple more just because they were things that I wanted. And I'm definitely not opposed to CC traits because like Peach is sweet, and I know in my legacy I had someone who was sweet, and it's because like I don't know, it just fits, and so I don't really know. The traits of some of these people because the only person we ended up being friends with besides Devante was Marisol thanks to you know relationship purging all these times ago but at least he knows everybody so I don't know if he would know their traits for being rooms with them no he just knows he's romantic um geek club demanding hot editor those are all traits from here we only know he's romantic those are all traits from here he only knows that I'm a music lover he honestly doesn't even know my other two traits and he doesn't know any of Kaz's but that's okay just kind of looking through. Okay, so you can keep sleeping. And... Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and... Let me see. Who's calling you? Kaz, no! We can hang out with you some other time. Right now, I really don't really want to deal with it. Oh, she's going to meet Anthony. That's really nice. Okay, cool. Um, let's be friendly. Let's see how he's been doing. Ask about his day. Come on. My mouse has been stupid. Um, I guess he's walking away. Okay, that's fine. You got to talk to him for a little bit, so that's good. And now you actually know him. So let's see. Yeah, now you know him. So, we're just waiting for me to get back, pretty much. And I'll be back from work at 1, I believe it is, but I can just keep speeding this here. How about you? Even though I know you're not tired, you probably should go to bed, too. Just because it's late, you have school tomorrow. My bedtime when I was a child kept changing. It was like 7, and then 8, and then it kind of became 
nine slash ten based on whenever mom and dad went to bed, but they stopped really truly caring. So ten became like ten thirty, just because I still decided I should probably go to bed by eleven. And now that I'm an adult in college, it's basically become whenever. So sometimes I stay up till midnight, sometimes I stay up till two, sometimes I stay up till like three, sometimes I just go to bed really early because I'm tired. And it's really funny. But yeah. So now that we're speeding through and I'm home and now I'm asleep, which means it's speeding through even more. Um, so I think, yeah, what I'm going to do since the next day is just another day of working is I'm going to go ahead and just skip through it and I will see you guys on my day off. All right, Jaden has officially gone to school. So here's what we are going to do. We are going to, while she is gone, go visit some of my friends. Well, people I would like to be friends with, I should say. And then, after that, this evening, us and Devante are going to go on another date. Because he still needs a second date. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And that'll be what happens next, pretty much. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go to Windenburg, where we will go ahead and meet once this map loads. Because I still have not gone to see Fonzie and Haley at all, and I feel like I probably should. Especially considering a few parts ago, like multiple parts ago, I was like, well, we should go visit them, and then I never did. So I probably should do that now. All right, here we are. And we are at this house in Windenburg, which I have actually not even really touched. I just kind of moved them into a lot and was like, okay. Also, seeing this hair in game, it actually looks really good. I don't even see any of the holes in it that I saw in Cass. Like, I see one of them, kinda. But overall, it looks nice. Which makes me happy. Although you can definitely see that, because that's where I had to move the ponytail up. Because if you, I didn't mention... Oh, okay, that was a weird sentence. If I didn't mention, that's one of the hairs that I made. So that's what this house looks furnished. Okay. Because I know that uh, K-pop used this originally for her uh, get-together Let's Play with uh, her Sims, but she had bought it unfurnished, I'm pretty sure, because it was empty. But this is what this looks like furnished. It's not bad. So it's just a cute little house, I guess. As we casually hug Devante instead of even really talking to... The people we came to visit. So let's go ahead and friendly introduce ourselves to both of them. I mean, they are Beasley's as well, but the funny thing is it doesn't register us as related because of the fact that we're separate households. Otherwise, they are technically, as far as the big household goes, considered siblings. Because that's how I treated my dogs. Is dogs were siblings. But yeah. So let's go ahead and just get to know them. That'd be fun. So let's be friendly and ask about their day. And gossip. And then we can get to know. As far as uh, Fonzie's concerned, we've pretty much just a little update on that. Now that it's been over a month, which is crazy, we've got the uh, Box of Ashes back, which is great. And um, we even, my dad's even set aside some stuff like um, his bowl and a can of the wet food and a bone and like his collar and different things like that that we're going to be keeping. And one of his friends is supposed to make like a box and it's going to have all of that stuff in it, so. It's definitely been weird how normal everything has become. Um, even though, you know, it will, it'll never be, like, normal normal. But, I mean, at least, like, if you think about it, I got to have all the time that I got to have with him. And he can still live on not only because of the fact that we have his ashes back, but also because he's here. So, at least somewhere, somewhere I, because that is me, get to talk to him. And I guess it's just a good way to kind of relieve some of the 
some of the sadness, even though it's not necessarily gone, but it's definitely in the back of my mind. Why are you here? I didn't travel with you, did I? You were supposed to be in school, but all I didn't realize you were on this lot with us. I might have accidentally taken her with us, but that's okay. But let's just, like, talk some more. But basically, um, as far as their designs go, he had gray hair because he was way older than her. Um, even though it was only a couple years. But the big thing is, her she has pigtails which represent her ears and wears high heels because of a joke someone at the vet had once made because she has long nails, so she clicks in and out. And then he has he had like long bangs to represent one of his ears and how it always covered his face. And then he has a ponytail to represent his tail since I cannot count how many times I've gotten smacked with his tail. It's it's irritating, uh, to say the least. But, yeah. So their designs were just little things that I drew years ago. And it's just kind of been how I've pictured them since. So I mean, I've always had human designs of them. Because I have human designs of like everything. I make human Pokemon and stuff like that. So it's like... At least when, or at least I already had them in this game, like, even though it was an uh, older version of them, like, his hair was different and stuff. And so I'm glad I was able to just update those designs and recreate them to actually make them look like I wanted. And now he lives on. Also, we were apparently embarrassed. Oh, someone walked in on us on the toilet. Thanks. Who did it? My daughter, of course. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Jaden, for walking in on me peeing, because that's great. This kitchen's actually not bad. I think that's my favorite part, even though it's really cheap. Like, it doesn't look bad. It looks kind of like an apartment kitchen, to be honest, which isn't the worst thing in the world. And then there's the back door, I'm guessing. But, um, now that we have gotten to know them just a little bit, we can probably call them over a bit more later on. But you need to eat. So, let's go on another date, and we can probably fix that. So, let's actually go ahead and... What? 